Good morning everybody, Jeff Toyson from Cutter Masters. Here we're showing you the corner radius setup on the Trades and Machinist. Um, some of the basics to begin with. How you set the necker attachment is you want to have a spring so that you have a very positive end feed in the x-axis. The x is used for the feed. To locate <clears throat> to locate the tool on the y-axis, there's a backstop here. You you bring the bring the tool so it's just inside the radius on the wheel, and then rotate the wheel to make sure it's not quite touching, and then set this feed screw, this feed stop. You want to make sure that your wheel has been indicated so that it runs out as little as possible. Generally, less than a couple of thou is what you're looking for. And then once you get set up, we're going to we'll turn the machine on a very low speed. Once the, once this y-axis backstop is set, it's just like the reamer, you can plunge the grind. There are a few choices of the y-axis set screw location. You want the set screw hole that's closest to the feed screw. Once again, the the feeding for this activity is done just with the end. You want to make sure you never overcut the radius. It'll ruin the finish on the part you're machining. Generally speaking, when you load the tool, um, once it's loaded, make sure all your settings are tight. The collet is nice and tight. It's good practice to indicate the end mill if you've got shank exposed. But if you don't, then just watch for any error. Um, <clears throat> to set the tool, the flute should be horizontal and down maybe five degrees. This gives you some Depending on what you're machining, if you're machining aluminum, you're probably going to want more clearance because you're going to be cutting faster. So you tip the tool down to obtain that clearance.